Okay, so today I'm here to do a get ready with me. I haven't done this in forever. Most of you know that I have my baby puppy. She's being precious and she usually sits by my side when I put on my makeup. And she usually just like sits on my lap and sleeps. She's been sleeping all day. So I woke her to come in here with me so I wasn't alone. Look into the camera. Oh my God, isn't she so cute? I can't handle it. She's my baby. Lay down. Lay down on my lap. Pup pup. She always likes to crawl on top of my hoodie, so maybe that will make her feel better. This thumbnail fell off, and uh, so it doesn't match the rest of my hands. Also, I got this ring. Tell me it's pretty, because I picked it out, so you better fucking say it's pretty. Look at it. Such pretty. So, um, I haven't done this in forever. Um, I don't have anything on my eyebrows, which is a weird way to start out, but I was gonna do them with you. You want to shave the fucking hair off real quick? I got a band-aid on my arm. Well, on my hand, kind of, because I have a wart there, so it's a wart band-aid. And hopefully the wart will go away. I've put so many band-aids on this thing, and it's still there, so I don't really know if it's gonna work. I've almost used like a whole thing of them. You can get them at Walmart. It's kind of cool. But anyway, for my eyebrows, I started using the Wonder Brow. Finally got it. And I used the shade black. I'm sorry, I keep sniffling. Like, this nose is running. Okay, so whenever I use this, it's kind of nice because with pomades, I feel like pomades are so thick and this is almost see-through so you can still see my tattoo behind it kind of i'll see you in because i'm kind of far away i feel like so how have you guys been <laughs> i uploaded a video recently of me playing little big planet with alicia just because we figured out how to do that and i don't know we play quite often now and it's kind of funny i don't know some people seem to like it but i didn't get very many views or anything I don't know if everyone just is waiting for Ouija board or what, but I don't feel like doing it. Talked about that enough, I feel like. And everyone keeps asking me why. Why haven't I been making videos on Instagram and Snapchat and stuff? And then I'm just like, I don't want to. <laughs> I just don't want to. It's so cold out today though, that like I'm, I refuse to leave my house anymore. I was sitting outside in the cold forever because I've been trying to make Isaiah get his um, driving permit which he already had but he got taken away so he's been trying to take the test and he's failed it several times now <laughs> it's a disappointment but you know what we'll get through it uh so today i had to sit out in the car well he went and did that because i didn't want to go in the bmv that felt weird and um my car has this weird problem now where it won't get hot unless i'm moving so if we're just sitting it only blows out cold air so i was just sitting in like 16 degree weather what the fuck ever it is right now and it was horrible <laughs> all my little fingers froze and i was like i'm not leaving the house anymore so with this um usually i don't even like fade my brows in and they still look good so i feel like i have a a decent amount of things makeup wise that i haven't talked to you about so i'm gonna show you everything that i've been using recently in case you care at all i don't really know if you watch me because you like uh to hear about my life or if you just really want to know how i do my makeup <laughs> i don't know this eyebrow is bigger than this one i'm having a problem my eyebrows are actual shit buckets today mm -hmm. yeah they actually somehow got way darker than normal <laughs> so i'm gonna actually have to fade them yay so i'm gonna take my anastasia concealer in the shade 1.0 this brush that I love so dearly and it's falling so much apart and I can't get it anymore, apparently. But we're just gonna fade in the front. This is why I like to do my eyebrows off camera because it's been eight minutes now of me just doing my eyebrows. Obviously I'll edit it for you, but for me, it's a lot of time. So I'm just kind of setting the concealer with powder. <laughs> oh my God. And uh, it's a process. I'm going to go back to the eyebrow shit. <sighs> Normally I don't have to do this. Why did it turn out like this today? They look weird. I don't know why, but they look very different. <laughs> okay. I feel like I got villain eyebrows right now. Okay, I have an idea of what I want to do. Sorry, I'm smoking a little bit of e-cig. So I'm going to put on some primer. We're just going to use the Arunda K1. Shade Eden. I think. I haven't done this in so long. I'm going to set that with skin toned powder okay i'm gonna use the nyx jumbo eye pencil as a base because we want this color to pop real good 
Ew, it's kind of a little chunky looking. I don't know why. Okay, I'm gonna use the electric palette by Urban Decay. Mine's broken, so it's kind of hard to hold, but I'm gonna use this color right here. Oh, uh, what is it called? Thrash. Because it is lime green, and that sounds such pretty right now. Now we're just gonna put some into the crease. Real simple. One color look today, but it's a very statement making because it's neon. I've been doing all nudes recently, except for the other day I did like a Christmas look. But other than that, it's been like all nudes, so we switching it up. I just feel like this is more interesting to watch on a video because it looks prettier. Okay, and there we have it. I'm gonna do wings. I'm gonna do something I don't think I've ever done before, so it might turn out bad. Uh, I'm, I wanna do a black wing with white, like outlining it. I guess I should start with the black. Or should I start with the light color? Mm. I'm afraid if I put the white down and then I put the black on top, it's gonna look real chunky because this stuff can kind of be like white out. I guess we'll start with the black. This might be a fill. By the way, I'm using the Sephora Colorproof Eyeliner waterproof but i don't know it's in the black one it looks like this shape and if you find it on their website i swear to god it's the best eyeliner i don't know if i've talked about this before because i haven't been here for a while but it is the best okay so uh, i have this problem of whenever i'm going to put on lashes it fucks up my wings i don't know if anyone else in the world has that problem but i do so <laughs> i don't know what the fuck's gonna happen if i put this white on and then i do that so we're gonna have to fix it. I don't know, dude. We're just gonna try it. This is the Too Faced sketch marker in white. Pure white, yeah. So we're gonna try to outline this shit. Okay. <laughs> Not horrible. I don't wanna do under here. For one, I put like a pound of concealer under there to help clean up the black. So. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep it on the top part. Okay, back in with the black. Not so bad. I'm digging it. Can I get any closer? It's kinda cool looking. Kinda cool looking. I'm excited. I did it. I'm gonna go off camera and put on my Salon Perfect 614 lashes. Before I go, actually I wanted to talk to you about uh, a mascara that I've fallen in love with. Okay, I wanted to try the A Cosmetics Superhero Mascara for like ever, and but I never wanted to buy it. But then I got it as like a birthday reward thing, and I'm gonna tell you, I love it so much. This is probably the best mascara ever, but I'm not gonna use it today because I only use it when I got this tiny sample, so I can't use it too much, but I usually only use it if I'm not gonna wear falsies because they make my lashes look so good, so I don't wanna waste it if I'm gonna put on falsies anyway. But I'm just gonna use L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. I got waterproof, but that was the only one they had, so I had no other option. Okay, so uh, the eyelashes did fuck up the eyeliner a little bit, but like I fixed it. They're not, you know, completely 100% even, but it was actually pretty easy to fix. So mm, I feel like it looks pretty good right now. Okay, so I really liked how this looks. So we're going to move on to the face. The dog is pulling my hoodie down. <sighs> okay, so uh, I got the, what are you? No Pore Bloom Primer. What brand is this from? Touch and Soul. I have nothing from them other than this, but I got this because Jeffree Star talks about it, how amazing it is. Okay, I'm not gonna say it's bad, because it's not bad, but like, it's not amazing. <laughs> uh, I feel like there's like a lot of product in here and a little goes a long way, so I mean, that's good. Unlike my Becca one that I tried recently and I was like really annoyed because I had used like so much for my whole face. It was okay though, because I didn't pay for it, but still and this i guess isn't that expensive i think it was 18 dollars. so i mean i feel like the price is right i guess it reminds me a lot a lot a lot of my ultimate one that i love so much um i've been trying a lot of primers recently and honestly i think my favorite one is the new one by benefit i got a little one because i didn't want to pay for the big one if i didn't like it but it is the professional pearl primer. So it's supposed to be like the glowy version, I guess, of the professional, but I really, really like the texture of that one. 
it doesn't feel so mm, greasy, I guess. That sounds bad, but like the one I'm using right now and the Ulta one both have such a silicone-y feel to them. I mean, I think that's why they feel pour so nicely and everything. I really like this kind a lot. But this one, like, it does that, but it doesn't feel so slippy because sometimes ones like this can make my foundation melt real easily around here. It depends on what foundation I'm wearing. If I'm wearing a matte foundation, that usually doesn't happen, but yeah, I don't know. I really like the Benefit one and it smells really good, but now I only have this tiny version, so that's great. And the big one is like super expensive. Also tried the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow what? primer. Primer, yes, and uh, this one is okay. It doesn't feel so silicone-y. Uh, it doesn't feel like the Benefit one. This one just feels more, uh, I don't even know, like a liquid, <laughs> maybe. I don't know, but it, it works and I do like it. So I have like a bunch of different primers to use up now because I kept running out of the Ulta one super fast. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have anything new foundation wise to talk about. I don't think I just keep using the same ones that I always use. I have on self tanner right now, so I'm gonna have to use like a darker color than regular, but basically the same shit. And I'm very annoyed with the Wet n Wild range because I wanted to get one that's like a little bit darker than like porcelain, but not super tan. And like the one I thought would be like in between is actually like just as dark as the other really dark one that I have. So that's not helpful at all. It's just like a different tone, I think. So this is obviously still my go-to. <laughs> I figured out that, it, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like it makes me look a little bit more dry in the winter, but I use it anyway, cause I still love it, so. Oh well. Hmm, so anyways, what's new? I feel like I haven't been doing much. Um, I gave my cat away. <laughs> And it's okay, I didn't just give it to like some random person because I didn't want her anymore. I gave it to Alicia because she has a cat that's like the same age as my cat and my cat seems so much happier over there. Like over here, she couldn't even play with my puppy because she was like way too big to play with her. She'd knock her down and the puppy would start crying and she couldn't like help herself. And then I would take them over there to get babysat by Alicia, which sounds so stupid because they're just animals, but <laughs> I've taken them over there. And my cat just like, I think she acts a lot less of like a crazy bitch when she's with another cat because why would any animal want to be alone? I mean, it makes me feel bad even having the puppy be alone and not have another dog to play with. So anyway, let's just like, yeah, I mean, we'll keep her. <laughs> I was like, you want her? You can have her because she's like destroying my fucking house. Like <sighs> she knocked a ginormous lamp down and she's knocked down like all the Christmas lights I put up anywhere. She was never allowed in this room or my room because she knocks down everything. Like she had to be shut in the living room. It was like super annoying. I know that when she gets older, she probably wouldn't be that fucking crazy, but I was just like, no, I'll just take the dog, which I can't say that's any better. Uh, There's like a whole new load of problems with the dog. I'm gonna set my forehead with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow powder in the shade 22. I feel like this powder is mm, making me look a little dry too. Whenever I put like that foundation and this powder together, I feel like I look, oh, I don't know. I don't know, maybe I just look like 100 years old. <laughs> like, it's not like I have dry patches, I just feel like it makes my wrinkles look a bit much. I could definitely use setting spray, but I never do that because I have before and then it fucks up my eye makeup since I did my makeup first, so it don't make any sense. So for concealer, I'm gonna use the Lottie London got, whoa, 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 whoa. For concealer, I'm gonna use the Lottie London Got It Covered concealer in the shade Shell, I guess. I have uh, a lighter shade now, Porcelain. I didn't know there was a lighter one than Shell. Either I knew that and I forgot or like I never knew. But then whenever I went and got the lightest one, I assumed it was this one and I was like, wait, what? I got a lighter one, that was weird. I don't know if they made a lighter one in that time frame. Anyway, I love this concealer. It doesn't really matter what shade. This one's good for when I'm tan and the other one's good for when I'm pale. This is probably my favorite. I use, like there's a lot of days where I just use concealer um, and I'll use Tarte Shape Tape and then I'll switch it up and use this one and I feel like this one has more coverage than tar Tarte Shape Tape, which seems unbelievable for how popular it is, but no, I swear, I really think it does. It covers these dark circles so good. But anyway, uh, with the dog, 
Does anyone know how to potty train a dog? <laughs> because I looked up online how old they're supposed to be whenever you potty train them. I think it's supposed to be like, what did it say? Maybe four to six months or something. And I think I got her when she was two months. I don't know. Something added up to where she shouldn't even, I guess, be trained yet. So she just has no idea when to poop and pee. Oh my God, she has peed on Isaiah so many times and <laughs> he gets very angry. She's peed on me a lot too, but it's kind of really annoying. And then since she does that, we have to keep her in a cage all the time. It's not really a cage, it's like different than a cage, but something like that. And we have puppy pads laying on the bottom of it. When we leave her in there, she gets fucking pissed. She's a tiny little puppy, but she destroys everything in there. She moves a puppy pad and then poops all over just like the bottom of the thing she's in and then spills her water and food everywhere. She's so cute, but she's a hellion. I, I assume raising animals isn't supposed to be easy. I've never had my own pets before. I mean, cats are easy to potty train, but my cat was a fucking bitch. Okay, I'm gonna set under my eyes with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade 10. This is kind of a bit darker than the other one I normally use. Uh, this powder, I've been trying to not look so fucking dry and powdery recently. So I was trying not to use this powder, but today this is really the only option I have. Actually, I have the Laura Mercier one, the little one. And I don't wanna use that one. So I was kind of trying to use my NYC one. Today I'm too tan for that one. It would maybe look weird, but I think the NYC one looks a little bit less drying. My face looks a little bit not matching to my neck. Is my light too bright? Ow. Maybe. Some people, I see their videos and their light's so fucking bright and I'm like, is that how mine should be? Like, I don't, I can't tell. It's such confusion while I'm doing it. Okay, for bronzer, I got a new shade in my favorite bronzer, the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. And I got the shade 10M, which I didn't even know existed. And I went to look and I was like, what? Why don't I have the lighter shade? I'm always pale, but this shade is like kind of a, uh, not very cool tone, so when I'm super pale, I still don't even want to use it because it's like pretty warm. <laughs> but it's such pretty, and my other one was obviously getting very, very low, so this this works. Works real nice. Uh, for blush, I'm going to use the Lorac Buildable Blush in the shade Tinge. I recently got this one, I think whenever they were having like a sale, and it's, um, it's just like a pretty nude. It's kind of light right now. I feel like it looks kind of like baby pink on me. <laughs> it's, it's still pretty. Oh yeah, I was gonna tell you, uh, anybody watching, Bath & Body Works is having their semi-annual sale. <laughs> Does anybody care? I don't know. But um, if you want shit that's super cheap, then you should go look because that's like the best sale, I think. Because I like stock up on a ton of body wash and so, so. I don't know what the fuck I've like talked about with you recently. It wouldn't have been recently, it'd been a while ago, but did I show you that I got this from White Wild? It's the highlighting palette. Uh hmm. This color right here is like stunning, absolute beautiful gorgeousness. Oh my god. Um I haven't really used the other ones. You know what? I should use this green one. Cause I got green on my eyes, but I just feel like I will look crazy. You don't like to look too crazy, just a little crazy. And also I have the L'Oreal Infallible Galaxy stick. Have I talked about that? I should like watch my last video or something, but mine is in the shade um, Astro Blue. This is Thaunting Hunty. This is what I wanted the holographic stick from Milk Makeup to be. Cause this color is my life. This is my fucking, that's my color. Purpley blue. It actually looks darker on camera than it does in person. Cause I, if I put this on my cheek, which I just use like a brush, and then I put uh, my favorite highlighters over top, which is like the NYX bluish one or the Moonchild white bluish one, it looks so beautiful. You don't even understand. But I can't do that right now because I just feel like I would look super weird with what's going on. So I'm gonna use Makeup Geek Glitz. Yes, this one is this one is my bay. Uh, I'm just gonna wipe my brush. Ugh, ugh, that was coming out. Okay, and then put it on. Cause I don't really feel like going through the process of putting a base on. 
but this shade just fucking glows. Okay, so I really want to add in some little stars. I think I got these from like eBay. I don't know. I use them usually for like nails. Um, but I'm going to put some on, on my eyes. So I'm going to take my Revlon Lash Glue and just do some little dabs up in here, wherever I want to put them. And you got to pick them up with a Q-tip. Mm, gotta get it wet. Bro, can you even see this? You're so goddamn far away. What am I thinking? I don't want to do this anymore. Fuck. Yay. Well, oh, I'm not even in frame. Yay. <laughs> what do I do with the bottom though? Probably nothing. Cause you know me, I don't like doing nothing down there. Don't like it. Not at all. So I'm gonna use Essence Last. Lash Princess Mascara and just put it down here. And I just got put on lipstick. Hmm. 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 Did I ever tell you that I got the new shades from the Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink? Because if I didn't, I got two of them. Yeah. And uh, they're great. Mm. Yeah. These are like the best drugstore liquid lipsticks. Also, so is the L'Oreal infallible pro matte liquid lipsticks awesome but these are such great i don't know that either of these would match me at all can i put on blue lipstick i don't even have blue lip what yeah i do i was thinking like a different color blue though i guess i'm just gonna use what the fuck is on my face I swear to god i swear to god I guess NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade Sandstorm. I feel like this is the only thing I use when I make videos. You know what? No, wait, hold on. Okay, so since I have the NYX Liquid Lipstick bolt thingy with all the beautiful shades, we're going to pick one from here. And I decided that I think, what are you called? Beauty Mark. Mm, I think that one's going to look good. This dark one right here. <laughs> like, I feel so far away. Um, It's just kind of like a brownie nude. So let's see. Wow, I'm doing a great job. I hate these applicators. I feel like they don't pick up like any product at all. Look at this. What is this? I'm gonna fix this off camera. Wow. Come up here, let's say goodbye. Okay, so I don't think you understand how long that took to fix. I don't know if that shade is horrible. It was kind of patchy, but like I like it now. I feel like a lot of them look patchy when you first put them on, but then somehow they look good. Cause I have a lot of the NYX lingerie, so I, mm, I don't know. I kinda like it. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. You like it? Do you like it? Mm. Oh, by the way, my dog's name is NYX. Like the brand, because that, that sounded cute. I don't know. So yeah, I think that's all for this look. Do you like it? Is it intense enough for you? Is it? Um, if you like this video and you want me to keep doing more makeup videos, then let me know. You do, a lot of you do anyway, so thank you for that. But, by the way, this thing right here is a mattress. It's taking up a large part of the room. Forgot that that was there. So yeah, I think that's all for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll be back soon with more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.